Hello friends, welcome to the Seated Scribe, a channel where we discuss pens and writing and I am Rudrashish Dotto. Friends, I am back after a break and in today's unboxing, I will deal with a frequently asked question among fountain pen users which is, are there pens from premier fountain pen manufacturing brands which are a bit lighter on the pocket and which still carries the twin ideals of quality manufacturing and at the same time provides a wonderful writing experience. Friends, to answer this question, I shall be looking today at a pen from Pelican, the premier German pen manufacturer and unbox their Pelican Jazz which comes in a pearly white color. This is my second Pelican Jazz and with a price of around rupees 550 in Indian currency or roughly around $6, Pelican Jazz provides a good value for money and at the same time offers a wonderful writing experience in terms of prolonged everyday carry use. So friends, without any further delay, let us go to the Pelican Jazz in a pearly white color. Well friends, uh, Pelican Jazz is marketed in this part of the world in blister packs like these and the top of the pack announces that this is Pelican Jazz and it's a metal fountain pen. So the body is metallic. The other end of the pack announces that this is a medium nib and ink cartridge is included. So this is basically it. It, it contains the original manufacturing information of Pelican from Hanover, Germany and the details of the importer including the price at which it is sold in India. So I will now open the blister pack to reveal the content. In fact, this is my second this is my second jazz. The other one was in black. So here it is. Now let me look at the clip first. The clip at this end announces that it is a pelican with the usual pelican logo and the beak of a pelican as the clip is shaped. This is not a spring loaded clip but it's fairly stiff and functional and this is metallic. This is metallic and if my camera can capture the shimmer of the variety of white that this pen is made of, it has a pearly finish. and. Uh, finial end of the cap is tapered at a one end and there is a chrome ring, a chrome band at this end. So this is the clip. Now let me examine the pen. Now one thing which uh, immediately attracts a, a, a user's attention is the ergonomic shape of the grip. If you can see this grip is polished chrome and one hazard of a polished chrome grip is that uh, well especially with regard to sweaty fingers it may slip down to the nib section but there are a couple of steps taken in this regard to prevent it. One is this step up and a 
step down indentation at this end which provides a friction stop for the fingers then there is a slight and regular concave rendering of the grip section there is a flare at this end and a double flare at the point where the grip section meets the barrel and the other end of the barrel is rounded it's a classic cigar shaped but thinnish since the girth at this widest end is not much it is around maybe 1.2 centimeter or so now this pen the barrel opens in around three and a half rotations and we have as announced in the pack one long cartridge one long cartridge now one issue which many pelican jazz users tend to face especially those who uh, do not prefer cartridges is uh, they have very little option but to continue with refilling these cartridges since uh, the cartridges of a pelican jazz are not easy to come by in this part of the world so it doesn't matter with regard to the other jazz that i have in black color i usually use a syringe to fill in ink in this cartridge so this is roughly it the this section is typical chrome section and if we look at the nib a bit minutely i don't know whether my camera is catching it's a steel nib medium sized with the embossed logo of pelican and the feed is plastic the feed is plastic so i will fit in this cartridge this is the narrow end that has to go in there is a ball that pops when this is put in yes so this goes in and i'll perhaps have to keep it with the nib side down for a couple of minutes like this for the ink to flow into the feed before first time use so let me keep it like this and i'll take a writing sample after a couple of minutes well friends uh, i guess by this time the ink has traveled up to the nib and i'll now take a writing sample well the first thing that strikes me with regard to pelican jazz is this comfortable gripping section as you can see the gripping section is fairly on the thinner side which gives uh, medium sized fingers a perfect control uh, of uh, the pen in terms of grip and now let me see how the pen fares this is a medium nib so it is pelican jazz in a medium nib and the color is pearl white in a blister pack so friends uh, with regard to the writing experience the nib is a medium medium i won't call it a wider medium as is the case with many of pelican pens uh, this is a medium medium and with regard to its wetness it's not uncomfortably wet it's 
more or less on the drier side and that perhaps has to go got to do with the ink that they have supplied in the cartridge and this is a very stiff steel nib so i don't expect any line width variations yes there are no line width variations of the calligraphy type and with regard to reverse writing the reverse is as wet as the forward strokes so inverted it hardly transfers ink to paper in it's not that we uh, prefer writing inverted but nevertheless it's something of an academic interest as to whether a nib has a tendency to deliver ink on paper when it is contacted in the reverse so it's not the case here these are very fine lines an occasional hint of scratchiness but with regard to the usual grip and writing section it's pretty smooth it's pretty smooth so this is pelican jazz and this pen has that solid uh, metallic feel to it it's no, it's a pen that can take knocks falls without any harm to its body let me take a weighing sample because metallic pens usually are interesting to us because of the interesting we readings that they often give in so with regard to this pen okay it's a comfortable 6 grams without the cap and well with the cartridge on the pen weighs around 23 to 24 grams and minus the cap the pen weighs a rather comfortable 16 grams so it's roughly 7 to 8 grams for the cap all in all it's a very very comfortable uh sized and weighted pen and with regard to the length comparisons let me see if i have yes this is the pilot metropolitan the pen is slightly the jazz is slightly on the thinner side and a bit longer a bit longer which may make this pen pop out slightly if it is placed in usual shirt pockets so this is not an issue as such but nevertheless uh, in terms of comparison the length is slightly on the longer side so friends this is the pelican jazz in a pearl white version for you uh, in a medium nib version for you and with regard to whether this pen can be recommended as an everyday carry yes this can definitely be recommended as an everyday carry and since it is of metal make uh, it can take in knocks and rough uses or accidental falls and yet can deliver a wonderful writing experience especially for those who desire uh, pens of the make of pelican uh, which are lighter on the pocket so thank you friends for watching this review of pelican jazz in a pearl white medium nib version i'll be back with another pen and another review in a couple of days thank you stay safe